No, last time I was up for driving this, but you didn't see it. Was uh, when I went over to Josie's birthday party. I did put up uh, her, the her and I on the couch with the birthday party, and that was kind of fun. But um, the time before that, that I was out in this. Uh, uh, weed was just about to become legal in Canada, and that's happened now. Didn't really change shit for my life, because we were already going to a dispensary anyway. So as far as I'm concerned, it was, you know. And I was never concerned with the legalities of the fucking program anyway. Because I know way more people who smoke than don't. Nobody seems to give a rat's ass here on the West Coast. But, um... You know, I'm not a massive freaking weed smoker anymore. Anyway. So, none of it really, none of it do I give a fuck about. But I did kind of, uh, I did talk about my concerns that this method of legalization really is going to hurt some people that I care dearly about. Um, you know, because now they're going to be on the wrong side of the law for totally fucking different reasons. It won't. Nobody's going to be going to jail for the weed itself. They're going to go to jail for tax evasion or, you know. So it's going to put some people in jeopardy for sure. And I don't know what people have told you, but for the most part, all the weed people I've ever met are good fucking people. And they don't deserve to uh, slap around by the government, you know. The only legalization I ever really wanted to see and fought for was just take it right off the fucking books. But you see, if you do that, they have no way to tax it and control it. And I do, I think the taxing is a good plan. But like I say, it brings up all kinds of other issues where people are going to get harassed in a way that just, it doesn't suit the crime still, you know. The punishment worse than the crime. But now there's tax evasion, that's a pretty heavy crime in the eyes of the government. About as big as it gets. That's why you can't just brew and sell your own fucking alcohol without a license. So anyway, we'll see where it goes. It's been fairly smooth. I really don't know what they're going to do about the uh, uh, stone driving thing. That's obviously at top of mind. But I don't believe that a breathalyzer test that they've developed is going to be accurate. And I think 100% of people should fight any charge that they get from a fucking weed breathalyzer. Until the technology is known to be accurate, I would say fuck that. And just fight it. I think most of them are going to get thrown out initially. Because I don't think they can prove the test is very fucking accurate. Also, the way the weed hangs around the body is different than alcohol. It lingers in fat cells and shit and slowly gets given off, so you can easily test positive and not be high at all. So that's yesterday's high showing up, you know what I'm saying? The other thing is, this is an unpopular opinion, and I don't give a fuck who disagrees with me. It's just my opinion. But even a moderately to highly stolen person does not drive and is not impaired the same way that a moderately you know, alcoholized person is. There's just no fucking way. There's no comparison. It doesn't take a whole lot of alcohol to measurably change your reaction times. The worst part about a high driver is probably paying attention. You know, like, I suppose you could be high enough to get a little intrigued with the shiny things on the side of the road. But if you're high and you've got your wits about you, the reaction time might be measurably different, but it ain't nothing. Like having a bunch of beers in your belly and, and thinking that you're driving awesome. Fucking nothing. So that's the thing. That's They're considering that to be the greatest sin. But it's not nearly as bad as what is acceptable on the alcohol level. what the two substances do to the mind and the, and the muscles and the body. There's just no fucking comparison. Y'all can comment down below if you have a different opinion there. I, I know that there are different opinions there. 
and I'm not even speaking from a lot of experience because if I've been smoking or something, I just don't feel comfortable doing it, you know. But if I had to, there'd be no problem. If I had to drive somebody to the hospital, it, there would not be an issue with that. If it were required, it's still fine. But I just often choose not because I just don't feel good about it.